Good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon all. We're going to start with Sky Sports News. Mr. Sally, you've had time to think about what happened on Sunday. You obviously spoke to the players and spoke to Kepler. On Sunday, we did uh, a wonderful match because it's very difficult to not to concede anything to the best team in Europe in the offensive phase. The performance was very, very good. And you were very unlucky to lose, but... I am, uh, I am the coach, so I have to, to value my performance. Everybody is talking about what happened at the end of the game. Uh, uh, everybody, no. In my family, no. <laughs> <laughs> everybody on the outside is, is interested in what happened. Uh, have you spoken to Kevin? I am Tom? not the coach of the outside. Have you spoken to him and told him? To okay, I, I spoke with the goalkeeper, with Kepa, of course. Then uh, we spoke uh, all together. Uh, because uh, he said sorry to the technical staff, but uh, was not enough. And then uh, he said sorry to, to the teammates, to the club. And so I think that uh, he, he made a big mistake. But uh, uh, we need to be tolerant. We want to, we don't want to to kill him. So there is uh, a position from uh, the club. Will, will you forgive him, and will he play tomorrow against? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, uh, I have to decide. I have to decide. Uh, maybe yes. Maybe not. Is he fit to play? I think so. Uh, I don't know because yesterday he had only uh, a recovery training, so we have to value today. But I think so. And if he doesn't play, would it be a punishment or will it just be a tactical decision? Se non gioca è una punizione o è una decisione tattica? Se non giocherà domani? It will be. A decision uh, for the group, for the, good for the other, for for the for the for the, uh, all the players. The way the rest of the team behaved during that incident, are you disappointed that some of the other players did not take control of the situation? Because in the past, we're used to at Chelsea seeing characters like John no. Terry or Frank Lampard. Surely they would have just sorted that situation out for the head coach. It, it, it was uh, uh, really a very unusual situation. So I think that uh, the players were really very shocked. Um, it was impossible to, to react immediately, I think, like in the bench. And the decision to find Kepler, was that your decision or was it the decision? No, no. Uh, from the board. Uh, in this club there are some rules and so he has to uh, accept, I think, the, the club decision. And a lot of people are saying that from the outside it looks like the players have too much power at Chelsea. Is that the case or are you totally in control of everything when it comes to football? Oh, as, you, as you know very well, it was uh, uh, only a big uh, misunderstanding. Uh, so I have to to value the the performance, and they they played uh, with uh, with a very great level of application, with a very uh, great level of determination, aggression. So I think that uh, this is really very very important. And you played so well at the start <coughs> of this season. You were unbeaten until you played Spurs. What has gone wrong since you lost to Spurs? Because before, everything was so good for you and the club. Because at the beginning, uh, we, we had more enthusiasm, I think. So we were able to, 
remediare o meno. Remedi, remedi. Remedi to some mistakes. And then uh, we played uh, without uh, enthusiasm for uh, for a period. Probably we were only tired mentally. And uh, of course, uh, I think that uh, in the defensive uh, movement we are better now. Of course, uh, if uh, we don't stop to to, to defend, because uh, in the match in uh, Manchester against uh, the City, uh, after the first goal, we st we stopped uh, to defend. But uh, I think that uh, um, now we are improving. We are improving, especially in the defensive phase, especially in the last two matches. And so I think that uh, if uh, we are able to to have a great solidity in the defensive phase, uh, we will be able to find uh, consistency. Okay, John. Was one of your thinking on Sunday to bring on Willy Caballero that you know, he actually is a really good penalty stopper and you know the Manchester City player? Was that? Was that part of your thinking when you were going to bring him on? No, because I didn't want a goalkeeper with a cramp uh, to the penalties. And then uh, Caballero knows very well uh, the other players. He played in Manchester. And so I thought that uh, it was better uh, with the with the with the, the goalkeeper uh, in a very good physical condition. But um, then uh, I understood that uh, he, he was uh, able to to go to the penalties. Then and yeah, um, I don't think anything because I know very well that uh, penalties uh, are a lottery. Uh, at the end, uh, we lost uh, with the post uh, out uh, and the post in. So. You said you haven't decided whether Kepa will start tomorrow yet. You said it's a decision for the group and for all the players. What do you mean by that? No, no, no. I have to decide for my group, not with my group. Then what do you mean by that? I, I, I want to, to send a message uh, to my group stop. And the message uh, could be Kepa is on the pitch or Kepa is out of the pitch. I have to decide Do you think it might what is better. Do you think send a bad message if he plays? I have to decide what is better for my group. Is he mentally ready to start? Here? Mentally. Mentally, he is ready to start. He has to. He made a mistake, a big mistake. There are some consequences. If the consequence is to play, he has to be ready to play. If the consequence uh, is the bench, he has to be ready to, to, to go to the bench. Do you, do you feel that your relationship with the players has been affected at all? Did you, no. Did you feel under no. no, because uh, after yesterday, for me, the situation is finished. He is, a, he is a young player, he made a mistake, but stop. If uh, I am sure that uh, he understood that uh, uh, he made a, a really very big mistake, for me it's finished. Do you need to win tomorrow to effectively maintain your job here? Because a lot of people have been saying that you've been under a lot of pressure. And the last week. No, I am not under pressure, but uh, you have to ask uh, to the club. I, I cannot understand why you ask uh, all uh, to me uh, this kind of question. Uh, you, you know very well that uh, I am not able to answer. If you want to know my opinion, I am not under pressure. Uh, or better, uh, every three, four months in my job, you are under pressure. And uh, I have doing this job for 35 years. so. For me, the pressure um, is a normal pressure. So tomorrow is just a normal game? It's not no, I want to win every match. 
not tomorrow. I want to win every match. And just one more back to Sunday, I'm not going to mention Kepa. Can I ask you about whether or not you thought your captain should have gone over to him and, and cleared up the situation? Because David Luiz went to speak to him, but the captain didn't. And previously at this club, cap, the captain would have gone and dealt with the situation. Oh, the captain spoke uh, to me uh, immediately after the match. Then uh, he spoke uh, uh, with Kepa. Yesterday we spoke all together. And the situation is uh, really very really clear in the dressing room. OK, we're going to do two more and then we're going to finish. Matt and then finish with Richard. Matt. Matt um, just one on Sunday, first if I may. Um, where were you going when you went down the tunnel? It looked like you were going to open the doors. Were you, no, we were you tempted there. to leave the, the stay arena? No, I needed uh, one minute uh, to, to, to return calm because I was uh, really very disappointed, very set up. And Marcus Alonso, is he fit at the moment? And if, if not, why is he not in the squad? But, um, it depends uh, uh, on the position. I didn't want a uh, left back uh, on the bench. Uh, but uh, it's the same situation uh, with Emerson usually. But you, you said in the autumn that Marcus was potentially the best left back in Europe or the world. Do you still believe that? Well, of course, but uh, it depends on the period. Uh, in this moment, uh, Emerson is doing very well. So I have to use him. Uh, but it depends on the on the period. It depends uh, on the mental condition. It depends on the physical condition. Um, uh, I think that uh, can happen that, that uh, in uh, 11 months uh, you have uh, one two months uh, not at the top. Um, it's not a big problem. Fortunately, Emerson now is uh, at, in, in a very good uh, physical and mental condition. Okay. Last question, Richard, and then we're going to stop. You can see on Sunday how angry you were over the situation. Just to, you touched on this in other answers, but to be clear, do you still feel that you have the respect and you command the authority of this group of players? Uh, did you see the match on Sunday? So you have the answer. But after the game, now in the last few after days? After the game is the same, or I think better. You think they respect you more now? Yes. Okay, cameras off, please. Now do the newspapers.